This tutorial explains how to handle the error message missing value where true false needed in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example on how to reproduce this error message and how to fix it afterwards. And this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a vector object is appearing, which is called vec. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by executing the name of this vector object. And then you can see that we have simply created a sequence from one to five. Now, one case where this error message often occurs is when we are using for loops and if conditions. And one for loop with a nested if condition is shown in lines four to eight. So in line four of the code, I'm specifying that I want to loop over the values in the index i from one to six. And then I'm specifying that within the for loop, the if condition vector element of the index position i equals to 10 should be checked. And if this is the case, then something should be done within the if condition. So if we run these lines of code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the error message error in if missing value where true false needed has been returned. And the reason for this is that we are indexing our vector object at a position that does not exist because we are looping over the values one to six. And at the moment where the index i is equal to the value six, our vector cannot be subsetted anymore because our vector contains only five elements. So as you can see at this point, our index i is equal to six and it's not possible to return this value from the vector because our vector contains only five elements. So if you run this, you can see that an NA is returned. And if we want to set this equal to 10, NA is returned again, and this cannot be handled by the if argument. So if we want to fix this problem, we can simply use the length function in line 10 of the code. So in this case, we are looping from the first index position up to the last index position of the vector that we are using as input. So if you run lines 10 to 14 of the code, you can see that no error message is returned anymore and our for loop with a nested if condition works fine. So the example that I have shown in this tutorial is of course only one example for the occurrence of this error message. I hope I could give you a good starting point to solve your own error message in your specific case. However, in case you are not able to fix your error message, you may leave a comment below in the description of this video and I'll try my best to help you to handle the error in your specific scenario. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.